Hi, I'm Michael Sturd Allen, and I play John Proctor. I'm Tara Flanagan, and I play Elizabeth Proctor. Certainly, um, individual human beings can evolve, and even individual societies can evolve, but human nature does not seem to evolve. And when we are frightened and perceive a threat as very real, it is human nature to um, want to solve it, to uh, find a perpetrator um, and punish uh, in order to feel secure and to feel safe. Um, but when we're reacting on that gut level uh, based on fear, it becomes really easy to uh, villainize anyone perceived as different or other. Um, and that's uh, certainly something that is unfortunately still with us today. And the idea of being um, tried in the media uh, is another thing that happens, uh, I think, in the play that also happens today, especially. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my character has this line, are the accusers always holy now? Uh, and it's basically responding to the fact that the, the people are believing, once you're accused, you're basically tried and convicted. Uh, and I think that happens a little bit in, in our um, society today. Um, that's probably why the play is so relevant too. Is that it, it? When I think, I hope, when you're watching it, uh, you can see these events that are happening in 1692 that are set in 1692, and the audience will be watching it and think, "Oh my gosh, that's just like this happening today." Uh, I think it's a way to examine ourselves uh, in, in watching um, the play. Conscience and doing the right thing and uh, making the right choice. You know. I think it's called the crucible because every play, every character in the play has uh, a point where they're they're ground under the weight of their own decisions. Like they have to make, they've done something and they've they've made a choice and they have to either choose to do the right thing or to do the easy thing. And uh, I hope that people walk out of the theater and uh, think about that in their day-to-day -day lives. Um, I certainly do. I walk out of the theater and think about it all the time. We talked a lot about uh, in rehearsal about personal accountability. That um, all of us have sort of the um, ideal version of ourselves, the person we intend to be, the person that we would like to be, uh, and then there's the person who we, we really are, um, and sort of reconciling that and coming to terms with that and taking responsibility for that. So there are certainly characters in the play who are more obviously sympathetic and others who are less so, but I think Arthur Miller's genius is that um, everybody is human and everybody has, um, from their perspective, um, a case to make and and that it comes down to recognizing that you're being led by fear or by hatred or hysteria or self-preservation that keeps you um, from growing and reaching for forgiveness or uh, allowing you to think in a rational way or allowing for compassion any number of things so uh, that's certainly something that I walk out of rehearsal uh, and now performance every day kind of um, going over for myself and I think that's really valuable. It's a play that you walk out of the theater, I think, a better person for. And it's good for all ages. Uh, so, yeah, come see it. Come see it. <laughs>